Hello again, and welcome back to another episode of Day of the Tentacle. I'm Chris. I'm Marit. And I just choked on the words Day of the Tentacle. Good job. Yeah. Uh, we are here, um, we are here in the future trying to win a human show with a mummy. We've just won Best Smile, but we still have to be, um, we still have to come first in uh, Best Hair and Best Laugh. Um, now I've got a plan for best laugh, because I think there is one thing over here that laughs. Let's go and take a look. Hmm. I'm curious now. I just... this sort of came back to me from having played the game a while ago. Let's go and talk to Uzo the Clown. Or, oh. let's just shove him. Ha. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's a great laughter. How do we do that? Scalpel? Laverne has a scalpel. No, we have Oh no, Bernard. yeah, Bernard has it we already. We sent it. We sent it. <laughs> our vengeance is ours. Deflated shreds of Uzo. Maybe I got a little carried away. <laughs> the voice of Uzo in a box. There we go. So that that is a laugh. Yeah. That's gonna win. <laughs> hey, don't you think you should judge best laugh again? Oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? I know. Why did the human cross the road? Because his tentacle owner told him to. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Yay. <laughs> Agree. Now we need a spectacular do. Yeah, we need some sort of a wig or something. Can opener is not going to work. Extension no. cord is not going to work. Um. Mm. Spaghetti. Babe, can we boil it somewhere? Well, what happens if we... See, oh. ah, it's already oh. wet and soggy. Uh -huh. It's all ah. slimy and sticking together. That sounds like great here. Let's boil this like every morning. Oh, I love the meatballs. Nice. Let's give that a try. Don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. Hey, he's awake. Oh, the mummies oh. has improved. Yes, but it's dull, flat, stringy, lacks body and control. A human's hair should stand up, not stand out. If oh. only it was a little okay. bit better. Uh, it looks as though we got to do something else. We need to style it a bit. What can we style spaghetti with? Uh, do we have any... I don't know, concrete? <laughs> <laughs> what do we have? Soap? Soap, no. Water? A br brush? A brush? I don't know, maybe? Could give it a try. Yeah. Don't know if it's the right kind of brush. No, I might get sauce on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else have we got? Fork? A fork. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Eat it. Come on. You know you want to. <laughs> well, he's got an impressive smile, a nice hearty laugh, and luscious stylish hair. Pretty darn good for a mummy. Hello, my silent gauze-wrapped friend. I'm concerned about the human show. But I really should go now. Well, I didn't go anywhere. No. Well, he's a mummy. Hello, what do you expect? Hello, my silent gauze-wrapped friend. I've got to get power to my chronogon. 
Maybe I could try to find some batteries. I really should go now. Anyway. Call me sometime, okay? I reckon we're about to win the human show, so let's get I that. I have a Egypt. feeling we might. Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. <laughs> the mummy wins. Agreed. Boop. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. <laughs> Thank you, Dead Cousin Ted. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. Oh. Hello, my silent gauze-wrapped friend. I really should go now. Call me sometime, okay? <laughs> no, he looks tired after all he's done. He looks like a beauty queen. Alright. So, where's our winnings? Ah, here we are. So, we have a trophy. And a dinner certificate. Who's mm. hungry? I don't remember what we were supposed oh, to do with that. Oh, the guard! We need to get rid of him. Send him off to dinner, maybe? Oh. He's a tentacle. I thought we had to give him something to chase. Yeah, but maybe, maybe. Oh, well, let's give it a try. No, this oh, has okay. to be special. Hmm. Okay. Alright, is there anything we can give him to chase? I wonder about that, that clockwork mouse, mouse toy thing? Which, uh, Hoagie has. Somewhere. It doesn't seem like he's gonna... I don't know. Mm. I, 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 I don't know, we really want to get rid of him for good now. I can't imagine he's gonna have a hard time catching it, but let's see. I think not. No, mm. that wasn't it. Okay. Well, we'll try and figure that out later. Um, Alright, so, we uh, have several other things we need to try and do. Alright, so Hoagie is looking for ingredients for a battery, right? Some oil, vinegar, vinegar and, and gold. Yeah. And I think we already gave him, the, uh, gave um, Red Edison the vinegar. We have soap, right? Yes. And we have a bucket with water. Yes. We also have a mountain of dirty dishes. Okay. Are you sure. Where were they? Uh, they were in the room with the um, the, the 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 guy who did the funny stuff, the cigar man. In the present day. Yeah. Okay. So maybe. I don't think I can put that oh. In the chronogen. Can't okay. put that in the chronogen. But the soap, though, maybe, maybe it can be used there anyway. I don't know. On the dishes. Let's go. Yeah. Let's take a go. Oh, oh, there. Yeah, yeah. There's a stinky pile of dishes. And I stuff. remember what you mean now. Uh, let's see. That's the only gold we've not. seen. You know, the mm. flakes. Yeah. But it's like almost background now. I don't know if that's the gold that we're supposed to be. I don't know. It, it's just the only gold I know of. But I... Yeah. Mm. Okay, uh, so we have to get rid of the guard. We have to find gold. And it looks, I'm sure there's some more stuff to do through here. Mm. Probably. The because we haven't. Box yeah, we haven't figured out the suggestion box thing. We haven't. Um, we haven't the, like, there's canary. definitely something going. Yeah, with the with the fireplace and getting a fire lit mm. to get the John Hancock's blanket, I guess. Mm, probably. And didn't it? Uh, like, we need to make Washington look cold, right? I wonder if we give him the chattering yeah. teeth. Let's see. 
Could you use these? No thanks. I already have some false teeth. Oh. Okay. We need to make him want to take those out, I guess. How? Mm. Oh. Uh, gum? No. Uh, we could try gum. But I've got a feeling that's something else. Whoops. Probably. I've got a feeling that I think I see or remember the solution. Let's see. I don't want to. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. What happens if we give him an exploding cigar? Oh, you're mean. Yeah, well, he's George Washington, so we can <laughs> yes. get rid of it. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... Teeth, I think. Me, you? There we go. Yeah. Let's give him the chattering teeth. Could you use these? I don't know what to the, to what end we're doing all this. Mm, no, I don't remember. Why, thank you, young man. Strange. I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. <laughs> hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. <laughs> hey. You big baby. Excuse me. Yes? Now what are you looking at out there? There are two sides to everything. You know that, my boy? Wow, what issue are you contemplating? What do you think? Is my left side better or my right? <laughs> Gee, I gotta go now. Yo, Tom. Thomas. So, how's the time capsule going? Very well. Now that you've provided that fine recent vintage wine, I plan to bury it this evening. Yep. How goes the framing of the Constitution? Not so well. We're not sure if we should guarantee the right to bear arms or if it will generate too many atrocious puns. <laughs> I sure hope someone gives us a useful suggestion soon. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? Blanket? Hi there. Can we? Hello. Mm. Yeah, let's talk to him first. Yeah. Feeling better now that there's a fire? Much better, thank you. My teeth were grinding into a fine powder, and that blanket was really making me itch. What's with the canary over the fireplace? Oh, that's an early warning system. It's quite ingenious. The canary is trained to ring the bell madly the minute it smells smoke. Then we know the building's on fire and we run like crazy. Well, why doesn't the fire in the fireplace set it off? I assume it's because all the smoke goes up and out the chimney. Who thought of it? It was invented by Red Edison, the owner of the inn. Who feeds the canary? Actually, no one does. It's a self-feeding canary. It's specially bred with some kind of nutrient-producing bacteria in its gizzard. It's quite a time saver. I expect everyone will have them in the future. I see. 
Amazing, isn't it? Nice painting of a turkey, dude. I'm glad you think so. The choosing of the national bird is on our agenda for the convention. And you want it to be the turkey? Well, yes, but I'm afraid I may lose out. <laughs> you see, there are two schools of thought on the matter. Ben Franklin and I are in favor of the turkey, whereas Jefferson and Washington, for some reason, want the eagle. But Franklin's always outside playing with his ridiculous toys instead of here where he belongs, so it becomes two against one. What's so great about the turkey? They've helped us to survive since we set foot on this continent. They're symbolic of prosperity and the thanks we give for our lives here. Besides, they're kind of cute. What's wrong with the eagle? Well, it's a bird of prey for one thing. I don't think that's an appropriate symbol for our country. Don't you guys have anything better to do? Such as what? Establish domestic freedoms? Come on, this is important stuff. I see. Good. Well, gotta go. Goodbye. Alright, let's grab that blanket. Yeah. There's a gold-plated quill, quill pen here. Have we oh, not seen this? I haven't. Wow. I, why have we not? We must I've have never seen never noticed that. I did. I, I, I looked at the thing. I just never... Hey, keep your hands on We need that. to clog the chimney. We need to clog the chimney. And evacuate guess... the building. Yeah. And grab that pen. Yeah. We have a blanket, can we use that maybe? Yeah. My th my thoughts exactly. Oh, what's he up to now? Soon oh, all the power of the heavens will be mine! Oh, we probably need to get that guy to go in at some point. Well, I think we need to do something with him. I've got a feeling we need to charge our battery with a lightning strike. That sounds like logic. But we need to create some bad weather for that. Yeah. Uh, can we... How do we get outside? What? Oh, oh, window. There we yeah. go. Here we go. Okay, who was the idiot who started the fire? <laughs> no way, it could be on fire by now. All right, I guess we're going the long way back. Yeah. Should be able to grab some gold. And that thing, that's the third ingredient we need for the battery. It is. So we may be able to get Red Edison to produce the thing. Yeah, that would be good. Hmm. We're making great progress here. Mostly because of, like, half-recall puzzles. Hmm. We're kind of cheating, aren't we? Well, is it cheating? I don't know. I'm remembering stuff from 15 years ago here, so... Yeah, you're not senile like some of us. <laughs> oh. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? <laughs> uh, hey, catch you later. <laughs> yeah, just blame him. That's okay. We're so mean. Yeah. Like, everyone is so mean in this game. Mm. There's a lab coat there, though. There is a lab coat. We may have to do something with that at some point, yeah. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. Wow, impressive pockets. Hmm. Oh, 
miracle of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. What? No, not on the shelf. It's mine. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. <laughs> hey. What is it this time? I think I'll be moseying along now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that lab coat yet. Yeah? No. We do have a swim for hire and... We do, but I don't want to go into that until we know what no, we're getting it for. Because we may miss the setup for the puzzle. Yeah. If we uh, jump the gun on it. Now, so we have a battery. Now, let's uh, take a look at that. Yeah. Uh, it's mine, mine, mine. The meter says that it's at zero power. Okay. Well, let's try and... Let's go talk to Franklin. Yeah. That doesn't need a battery. Yeah, but the kite does. How can I... Hmm. Hmm. Need to make him go in or use the battery, I don't know. Yeah, well, let's talk Excuse to him. Excuse me, mister. Mr. Electricity? That would be me. Well, see ya. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I think there's one more thing we need to do, maybe, first. And that's to create a storm. I think we might be able to do that in a time on a fashion. <laughs> The water's all sudsy now. By washing the car. I can't oh. do anything without something to I'll start a barbecue, that would help oh, too. Need this need the brush as well. Oh, Starting a barbecue would definitely work. Dum -de -dum. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Oh, he's going in. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. <laughs> but how are you ever gonna get lightning if you're not gonna stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. So we will chat with him now. Hmm. We're gonna need a kite. We are. Where did he go? He should be in there, shouldn't he? At least they said he was missing. They did, but, but he's not. No. Okay. Well, could it be in the kitchen? Oh yeah, it's got a bedroom. Oh, he does. Yeah, I forgot that. Because we could do, we could really use that kite. Yeah. Unless there's something we can make a kite out of. I but, it. Oh no, wrong. Okay, give me a kite. Come on. Hi. Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. Uh, well, mm. looks like my kind of guy. He's not all right. Okay, that's not going to work. All right, I think we'll park it there and mull on that for a while, and come back in another episode and see if we can solve this puzzle. Hopefully, we can. Hopefully, mm. I think we're making very good progress here. Let's save the game and just check out our percentage. Actually, um. We were on 44% at the start of the previous episode. Oh, wow, we're now on 72. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we made really good progress here. So we do have quite a bit still to do, yeah. but we'll pick up from there in the next episode. Yes, we will. So, again, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time for more Day of the Tentacle. Bye. Bye.